I don't think I had any like consistent plans at all. Uh, although ever since I was young, I always had like a video game controller in my hands. So I don't think it's um, a big surprise that I've ended up going for something kind of techy. I actually spent quite a lot of time in physics. Uh, I got a PhD in solar physics uh, a few years ago and it was during my time uh, as a physicist where I was spending a lot of time doing programming within a scientific context but it actually showed me that I really really love the problem solving aspect of coding so I decided to stick with it and here I am. Don't be intimidated or overwhelmed by the sheer amount of technologies there are out there. Pick a few things that seem reasonable and intuitive to you, stick with them, and use them to build something that inspires you. Hmm. Logical, satisfying, responsible, and diagnostic. Industry-wide, I can really see the adoption of AI technologies really beginning to take off. Uh, I can see code getting smaller and simpler and more accessible. I can also see, just with current geopolitics, a bigger focus on cybersecurity, that becoming a thing. Uh, and I know here at Pulsion, we are particularly turning a focus to uh, improving the requirements gathering process of development, because eventually, uh, if, if you can't rein in your requirements at the start properly, then you're going to end up with costly overruns. I really like the breadth and variety of the client portfolio that we have. Uh, we have such an interesting range of projects across so many different contexts, so it's fun to rotate around them and it keeps the job fresh. It never feels stale. <laughs> uh, a few years back, I got a chance to work at NASA for four months, but don't worry, I wasn't like launching rockets or anything. I try to balance out chilling out with being active. So I spend a lot of time playing video games, uh, but I also love being outdoors. I love running and recently I've gotten back into swimming as well. So that's, that's been good fun. <laughs>